Hi Cancer, welcome to your bi-weekly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is just a general reading. So always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences at this time. Also, if you would like a private reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. So, uh, Cancer. It seems that in the beginning of this time, you might be worrying a lot about something that you keep obsessing over. You keep ruminating your thoughts over a specific situation that can be uh, related with uh, an emotional tie or something where you are putting a lot of your emotional energy into and that the fact that you are obsessing over it, it's creating a sense of difficulty and moving on and, and letting the healing period come forward so you can recuperate that emotional sense of imbalance that you are feeling right now and that as well is affecting your mind, is affecting your well-being and your sense of being at ease with the moment you are in right now. So you begin this time with the Nine of Swords. It's always a warning within your mind. We don't want this card to get to the Ten of Swords. And so it's very important to uh, keep um, keep yourself, um, put attention into your thoughts. Understand that your mind is uh, here, uh, is trying to control you in a way that it's, it's not allowing the, the growth and the change and the healing to happen because you keep yourself in a state of uh, worries and worry and worry and you keep attracting situations that will feed that seed of intention that you are putting out there. So you, you want to be mindful of where you are being obsessive, where you are being um, uh, pressure, where you are putting a lot of pressure either on yourself, on a specific situation, or on other people, where you are um, too, too, uh, too oppressive with yourself in your thoughts, keeping yourself in a state of paranoia and anxiety. And you want to be mindful that that, that state of your mind, those worries, those voices that come forward, they are not necessarily real. And I'm not telling you that your worries, they are not, they don't have a foundation of truth. It's just that many things, many things that you are uh, thinking about, about the situation, are a creation of your fear and not of the actual source of the problem or the situation that is concerning you. So you really want to be very thoughtful about how you are using your mind and how you are bringing forward the seed of intention of creating a new path towards your life. And when, where are you being participants uh, with the problem itself? Because crossing you, you have the Six of Swords. So there's a desire to go to different shores, to go to a new place where mentally you can feel more in harmony and stabilize with yourself, where, where you can feel the change of the turmoil times, of the complicated times starting to settle down. You want to go to a place of recuperation, but you, you are not allowing the transition to happen by being so obsessive about it or so focused on the negative, um, the negative possibilities that are coming forward. And especially because here you have the Queen of Cups in the crowning position, which could be very well representing you as you are a water sign. She is very kind, intuitive, uh, very emotional. But here I really feel the obsessive part of it. She, she's looking and staring at the cup. She's very uh, con concentrating all her energies into this specific emotional situation that is bringing her the worries instead of trying to um, broaden up a little bit her scope of attention and trying instead of looking specifically at it at just one thing trying to broaden up to the sense of opportunities in this process of change that you are going through or in this desire to move forward this desire to go to a different place either mentally, physically, emotionally, or spiritually. 
So you're trying to go somewhere different as well because in the foundation you have the Ace of Wands. So you want a new beginning, you desire a new action into your life that will spring forward a sense of optimism and dynamism uh, into spontaneous, spontaneous energy back into your life. You want the things to keep rolling, to keep moving. And you are getting there, but you want to get there in a state of mindfulness where where you, you are paying attention to what is happening, where you know what is happening exactly in front of you, not what uh, your fears and insecurities are telling you that it's happening. So in the near future, you have the magician, which is great, because it is telling you that if you try to be less obsessive, if you try to uh, channel those energies of worries into things that bring you a sense of creativity, opportunity, inspiration. You can create magic and you can have that new beginning manifested very soon because you have all the tools at your disposal to manifest it. So in the foundation you have the Ace of Wands, which is this big desire within you to create a new inspirational path in your life something that it brings a sense of going away from something that uh, recently and in the past caused you problems or emotional complications. You are desiring to spring forward, you are desiring to spring the blossoming of opportunities and you are getting there. But I believe that you still need to be a little bit um, mindful of the present time and knowing that this is still in the period of uh, in internalized, so it's still a cult, but it's it's there, it's starting to brew, it's starting to be manifested. And now it's about having the patience and the ability to wait for your time to come and for your time to bring those things you are aspiring to get. And you will with the magician. If you meet these energies, as I always say, if you try to meet these energies halfway, you are co-creating your life, you are co-creating uh, and participating consciously in the challenges and opportunities that life is presenting uh, to you. And so you have magic with you at this time, and especially in the second week, uh, you will see, and it's funny because it's when we, we will start spring, when we will start the new season. So every season somehow can be very important to you, springtime. Maybe that's when you, it's, it's not going to be just in the foundation. It's going to start, the new beginning is going to be manifested. So don't overstress, over worry, over focus, over obsess, over anything. Anything that seems extreme at this time, it's not going to help your mind. And you want to be mindful that your mind needs rest needs balance, needs groundness, needs ability to be present in the time that you are right now, not uh, trying to pressure and push and accelerate things that still need their time to blossom, but they are going to be blossoming very soon with the magician. Your mind will, will get back to its place of um, inspiration, of creativity, of understanding the importance of communication somehow. I believe communication will be as well very important. And not only that, you will, whatever you want this new beginning to be about in terms of career, finances, spirituality, relationships, any area of life, right now you have an opportunity to make it happen. But you have to believe in your power. You have to believe in your creative abilities to co-create your life with the universe. You have to understand the concept of magic that's in the seeds of intentions and the law of attraction. So, Cancer, I hope you find your magic. Thank you so much for uh, watching, liking, subscribing, commenting. I'm really amazed with all the feedback I'm receiving. And hopefully we'll see each other, each other very soon. Bye.